Hi, I'm Nancy Dell from Nancy Dell & Associates Nutrition Counseling. I'm a registered dietitian and a certified diabetic educator. Today we're going to talk about creating a diet calendar. This is very important to help you stay on track with your goals. Tracking keeps you on track. So you have basically four methods to use when you're going to make a diet calendar. The first being very detailed, all the way to something very generic like a daily progress report. Basically, you want to find a diet calendar that meets your lifestyle. Some people like something very detailed, such as just a notebook where you write down everything you eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. You can also include everything you drink. You can also include the calories or the fat grams, or if you're counting carbohydrates, you could write that as well. Some people just don't like that much detail and want something a little more generic or a little more formal. You can use a form such as this food journal, which gives you a little bit more structure. And in this form, you can put, again, the breakfast, the lunch, the dinner, calories, fat, carbohydrates, or you can even leave off the details of the calories, fat, and carbohydrate. We see people be very successful just even writing their food. One of your best diet tools is a piece of paper and a pencil. Um, if you want to be even more generic, you can use a form something like this. This already has uh, some detail on how many servings of breads you should have every day, how many servings of vegetables or fruits, your milk servings, as well as your meats and your fats. This will help you get a better balance throughout the day so that you don't just spend all your calories on pasta, for example. And how this works is as you consume the different foods, you would check off that you had a serving of bread, for example, or you had two servings of bread, or you had a serving of vegetables and fruits. Now, if you fill in on this form just the white squares, you've had about a 1,200 calorie plan. If you go into the black squares, you're up around 1,800 calories. A form like this can also help you track other things like your physical activity. Every square represents five minutes of physical activity, or you can designate that each square is 10 minutes of physical activity. Also, you can set a behavioral goal, such as, I want to stop eating at the first sign of being full and you can track whether or not you accomplished that or not. You can put down if you had a supplement or if you're taking something to suppress your appetite, such as lemon juice, to just include your lemon juice with your meal. That will help slow digestion and suppress your appetite. You can record any mistakes that you make and give yourself a pat on the back if you did extra well, maybe when you were eating out. So some people like that type of form. And then your final type of form is very simple and very generic. I find a lot of patients like this because they have a busy lifestyle. This is your daily progress report. In this, you set one to three goals. They can be food goals, exercise goals, behavior goals, or any combination of the three. In this case, we have as a food goal that you're going to eat half your plate as vegetables. Your second goal for, for your exercise is to walk 20 minutes a day. And the third goal is a behavior goal. You're going to stop eating at the first sign that you're no longer hungry. Then every day you say, how well did I meet my goal today? On Monday here, for example, you fully meet your goal, you fully fill in the square. Monday was a good day for this person. On Tuesday, here you can see that eating half your plate as vegetables was only partially met, so you partially fill in the square. Same happened when you stop eating at your first sign of full. If you don't meet your goal at all, then you leave the square blank. So here in this example on Wednesday, they did not get to walk um, and the same on Thursday. So this is a very simple form. It helps keep you focused. Again, a tracking sheet helps you focus on behavior. It's your behavior that you can control. Many people end up focusing on the scale or the cholesterol number. Those things you can't control so much. It's the behavior that you want to focus on because that will result in good weight loss or good cholesterol numbers.